just like not move at all, like it'd be like perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be hard for me to do. <laughs> Welcome back to the Queen Jinx channel. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, so today we're going to be looking at the Europa League and the group stages were drawn a few days ago. So we're going to be making some predictions and uh, based on my opinion. And, uh, you know, just like always, like I mentioned in the last video, I wanted to uh, start every video with a question to get some opinions. And, um, you know, my question for this video is of, of the new format this year. Uh, you know, based on the winners moving on to the uh, knockout stage and, um, you know, the second place now playing the loser of the Champions League knockout stages. What's your opinion on that? Did you like last year's format better or do you like this year's format better? It's a little complicated, I know, but I'm just curious in your opinions on the new format. And uh, also to update everyone on the last video, which was on the Champions League uh, predictions, which if you haven't watched that, please go back and watch that. And... Um, if you follow us on Twitter, you've already seen the poll and you've probably already voted. So here's the results of uh, the past couple of days poll, which is which statistical underdog has the best chance of making the group, uh, making the tournament stage from the group stage. And it looks like the majority has put Club Rouge. And I do not necessarily agree with that because they are in the same group as Man City and PSG. And I do not think there is a way in heck they come out of that group. But majority rules, and the majority rules uh, say Club Rouge is going to be the statistical underdog to make some noise. So, now we're going to get into the actual video, but a little bit of a more fair warning before we get into this. Uh, I am an English speaker, so some of these names is very hard for me to pronounce. And I do think that predicting the Europa League is probably uh, very, very hard compared to the Champions League. Because when you look at the Champions League, you know... Uh, you pretty much will, you have a really good idea who's going to come out on top. Now, some of the group stages in the Europa League, you probably do have a good idea. But the beauty of the Europa League is, you know, you have uh, teams from just all over Europe. And you don't know how they're going to match up with other teams. Because, you know, you may have a team from, um, uh, let's just say the Belgium, uh, the Belgian Premier League going up against a team from the Scottish Premier League. How are they going to how are they going to match up against each other? I don't really know, and I don't think that's the beauty. And I think that's the beauty of the Europa League. But that said, let's go ahead and get it right into Group A, which features Lyon, Rangers, Sparta Prague, and Bronby. And I do think that Lyon is probably, if I had to guess, the statistical favorite to win this league or win this group. I have not looked at the uh, statistics yet on these or the favorites, but I would guess that they are. However, I actually have the Glasgow Rangers winning Group A. And I've got Sparta actually finishing second. And um, it may come as a surprise, and that may, and I know I'm probably going to be in the minority, but I just don't think Leon has looked really good this year in Ligon. So that's why I've got Glasgow Rangers uh, finishing first and winning Group A. So Group B features Monaco, PSV, Real Sociedad, and Sturm. Now, this was, you know, I, I, I don't believe in Monaco. You know, they are so up and down almost all the time that it's one of those, I'll believe it when I see it. I could be wrong. But I have PSV and Real Sociedad battling it out for the top spot to win the group. And I've got Real Sociedad winning with PSV very close behind in second. And I just don't know enough about Sturm, to be honest with you, to predict how they're going to do. So I've got them finishing third or fourth. So Group C, we've got Napoli, Leicester, uh, Spartak, Moskva and Lego Warsaw. So, right off the bat, this one's probably the easiest in my opinion for the top two. Napoli and Leicester clearly are probably the favorites and maybe even two of the favorites to actually win the Europa, uh, the Europa League. But I've got Leicester winning the group and Napoli finishing second. And they may only be separated by one or two points and those one or two points are gonna come from Leicester probably winning, uh, beating Napoli in their head-to-head. -head. So we're going to go into Group D, which features Olympic, Olympiacos, uh, again, I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, Frankfurt, Bert, Fenerbahi, Bossi, and Antwerp. And although I cannot say the name of the team correctly, I have Olympiacos actually running away with this league. They have looked unstoppable. 
and I believe they are going to completely dominate Group D and win. And I do f think Frankfurt will get the uh, second place to go to the, uh, the knockout playoff stage. So Group E, at Group E we've got Lazio, Lokomotiv Moscow, Marsal, and Galatasaray. <laughs> and to be honest with you, although I'm probably not saying their name right, I actually do hope they make some noise, Galatasaray, because they have an American um, playing for them by the name of DeAndre Yedlin, and I'm really hoping he gets uh, some stage. But in my predictions, I can't be too biased, so I've got um, Marseille winning this particular group. They've looked really, really good in league on this year. And um, I've got Lazio finishing second. Um, frankly, I don't know a lot about Locomotive, although I do like... Uh, I do like their team, but I just haven't seen them play enough this year to, 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 to take a reasonable guess. I think they're going to finish above any of the other teams, but I've got them finishing fourth. Um, so Group E, I've got, uh, like I said, I've got Marseille winning and uh, Lazio going into the group, uh, the playoff stage. So Group F, we have, and this one's going to be terrible pronouncing, and I'm sorry. Group F, we've got Braga, Cervina, Zaveda, uh, Luda Gortes, and Medjiland, Medjiland? And um, although Braga is the only one I can probably pronounce semi-correctly, I don't have, I've got them probably finishing third. I've got, um, again, if I'm saying it wrong, I already know I'm saying it wrong, so I'm sorry. Um, Midland, I've got them winning the group. Uh, and I've actually got um, Ludogorets finishing second because I think they've looked pretty strong in their uh, domestic league. And I do think they're going to go on, but I don't think they're going to go past the playoff stage, probably. But, um, hey, we'll see. And, you know, in the past, uh, uh, Medjeland had um, an American by the name of, uh, he was a goalkeeper. I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Bill Hamid played for them in the past, although he didn't quite make, although I, well, I would consider him probably a bust in this particular team. But either way. Still get brownie points for me, but that didn't influence my decision in any way. So we're going to go on to Group D, which is Leverkusen, Celtic, Betis, and um, Fairvinveros. So of the top three teams, I think we're going to have Celtic winning the, the particular group. Although, if you told me a month ago, I may have not even had Celtic uh, finishing second. But they've made some really good transfers. They brought in some nice experience, especially at the goalkeeper position with Joe Hart. Uh, I think he's motivated. He's looked really good so far in uh, league play. And I do think that's going to carry them to actually winning Group G. And I've got Leverkusen finishing second. So Group H, we have Dynamo, Zagreb, Gink, West Ham, and Rapid Wayne. And I have, frankly, I've got West Ham winning this and Gink finishing second. Now, I do think it's going to be close. Uh, Gink has looked really good this year, and they also have an American playing for them. Uh, West Ham, right now, they're a good team, I believe. Uh, I know they would have loved to have had some players back from last year, but, hey, that's the, that's the beauty of the transfer window. But I do have them, nonetheless, winning Group H. So that said, there is my quick 10-minute rundown from the predictions from the Queens Yanks. Uh, let me know what you think. Don't make, don't be too hard on me for the uh, pronunciation of some of these teams. I know they're terrible and I apologize for that. But uh, nonetheless, um, we got some more good content coming out. Like, subscribe, and please comment. Let me know if you want, even if you want to make fun of me and how I said some of these names, go right ahead. And uh, like I said, follow us on Twitter if you get the chance, where you post polls pretty much every video. And we like to have some conversations going. You know, we've got uh, conversations going on with some ESPN personalities recently too. So please give us a follow on there. We need some more followers, trust me. And uh, that said, I hope everybody has a great week because this video should probably be posted on Monday. So everybody have a great, amazing week. Stay safe out there and peace out, guys.